I'm Takuya Ueda.、Uh, I work for Numo in Tokyo, Japan. I'm also a Google Developer Expert in the Go category. My talk title is Go Static Analysis with the static,、uh, Single Static Assignment. Thanks to the Go and X2 Go packages, we can easily develop tools for your own code base. The X Go analysis package、uh, provides an ecosystem for developing static, static analysis tools that, that are run by GoBet commands. But sometimes we need more powerful analysis techniques. Today, I I'll introduce SSA form, which helps us perform deeper static analysis. Single static assignment, SSA, is a form where each variable is assigned exactly once. This technique is used in the Go compiler, GC, for optimization. SSA is also variable for static analysis tools. SSA is also,、uh, sorry,、uh, the X2 Go SSA package provides SSA functionality for static analysis. Note that this implementation is different from the one used internally in GC. The X2 Go SSA package has hierarchical structure. Programs contain packages, which contain functions. Functions are made up of basic blocks, which are sequence of instructions without branches. Each instruction operates on values as operand. When we convert Go code to SSA form, we get a control flow graph. The graph shows how basic blocks connect to each other. We can see the program's control flow clearly. This helps us analyze the, goal,、uh, analyze the code statically. Next let, me, next, let me show you a concrete exa example of using SSA for static analysis. You know, Cloud Spanner is a powerful distributed database, but you need to be careful when using the Go SDK. By default, if the session count goes over 400, your application will block. You might see logs about high ses session count at runtime, but that's too late after de deployment. This code example shows a session leak because no, no stop method is called. The fix is simple. Just add defer iterator dot stop after creating the iterator. Zagane, a tool I developed, uses SSA analysis to detect these missing calls statically. This way, we can chat the problem before deployment. Now, let me explain how Zagane detects session leak using SSA. We treat the control flow graph as a directed, directed graph and color the nodes. Red nodes are where iterations are created, blue nodes are、uh, where functions exit, green nodes are where stop or do method. Is called. Then we check all possible paths from red to blue. If there's any path that doesn't go through a green node, we found a potential session leak. This approach lets us cat leak before runtime. Checking all paths from red to blue. Can be complex and expensive, so we use a different approach. Instead of listing all passes, we remove the green nodes from the graph. Green nodes are where stop or do is called. Then we check if there is still a pass from red to blue. 
if there is, it means there, there, there's a way to execute without calling stop or do method. That's a C, uh, session rate. This approach is much simpler and more efficient. Conclusion. SSA give us powerful tool for static analysis, control flow graph, help analyze program flow. Zagani algorithm works for do x after y and do x, do x before y cases. This help catch bugs before production. Okay, thank you for listening.